the Americas, home to one billion people, is one of the most biodiverse regions, encompassing seven of the 17 megadiverse countries in the world. The region has an astounding ethnic, cultural, and linguistic diversity. Although the region has made remarkable human development improvements, many challenges remain. Indigenous peoples, Afro-descendants, Romani, and many other ethnic groups inhabiting the region have historically endured multiple forms of discrimination and exclusion, resulting in significant inequities. These peoples, however, are repositories of ancient knowledge and healing traditions that are often overlooked. In the Americas region, multiple healing systems, traditions, and therapeutic practices coexist. Some developed locally by indigenous peoples, others imported from different world regions. These healing practices are the main form of care in many contexts and are often used alongside biomedicine and public health interventions for promoting health, preventing, diagnosing, and treating ailments and health conditions, and for supporting people in rehabilitative processes and end-of-life care. Recognizing these ancestral knowledge and practices is essential to contribute to healthcare access and universal health coverage. Countries in the region have worked toward recognizing, protecting, articulating, and integrating traditional and complementary medicine in health systems and services, including self-care strategies, through the development of normative and policy frameworks and the implementation of initiatives to provide culturally adequate, people-centered quality health services. For over 30 years, PAHO has been at the global forefront of recognizing the rights of indigenous peoples, Afro-descendants, and other ethnic groups to their healing traditions. PAHO's Indigenous Peoples Initiative, launched in 1993, created a framework for regional action for understanding traditional indigenous medicine systems in the Americas and to highlight the importance of the intercultural approach to transforming health systems and providing people-centered care. The initiative also provided an avenue to understanding the potential place of complementary and integrative medicine within national health systems. In 2017, PAHO member states adopted by consensus after an exhaustive consultative process, the Policy on Ethnicity and Health, followed by a related regional strategy and action plan. In the Americas, 17 countries and territories have laws, policies, or strategies to recognize, respect, protect, and incorporate knowledge-based traditional, ancestral, and complementary medicine into national health systems. In our region, there is an inextricable link between biodiversity and traditional knowledge in health. It is imperative that we work towards safeguarding such knowledge and guaranteeing sustainability and biodiversity conservation amid climate change and other contemporaneous challenges to planetary health. With PAHO's support, a multi-stakeholder network created to foster experience exchange and collaboration has developed a specialized virtual health library that seeks to enhance access to scientific and technical information to support practitioners, policymakers, and the general public in making evidence-informed choices. To advance toward universal health coverage in the 21st century, a PAHO high-level commission recommended, among other things, that countries develop people and community-centered primary healthcare-based models of care that take into account human diversity, interculturalism, and ethnicity. The region is highly committed to these goals, and PAHO is prepared to support its member states to leave no one behind and enhance planetary health.